everyone, welcome along to another video lesson. This is an easy one today for uh, a few of my younger students. This is the Harry Potter theme and I'm going to take you through uh, the chords, how I just played there, and the melody. Let me do the chords first. So the chords are nice and easy. They're E minor for two, A minor for two, E for one, D for one, E minor for two. That's a, that's a tricky bit, all right? So think of the melody over the top. If you can hum it. All right, that's the first bit for the chords. So get a piece of paper, write those chords down. Two on E minor, two on A minor, one on E minor, one on D, two on E minor. All right, now the next bit is Really the same, just one new chord at the end. It's E minor for two, A minor for two. Then we've got a B7. All right, if you're not familiar with that, that's your first finger on the first fret of the D, second finger on the second fret of the A, third finger on the second fret of the G, and your little finger on the second fret of the high E, and you get this. All right, that's a B7 for two and then an E minor for two. So that second section was E minor for two, A minor for two, and a B7 for two. That might take you a bit of time to get to that chord. And then an E minor, all right? So if I, if I play the whole thing through, all the chords, I won't hum it this time. So we have E minor, A minor for two, E minor for one, D for one, E minor for two. E minor for two, A minor for two, and this B7, the tricky one. All right, okay, that's the chords. If I hum it, try, try and hum the melody over the top of the chords, and then you know if you're playing the chords right. Um, so the melody starts on the and of four, if you're counting it in. So the melody starts just before the uh, chords come in. So if I count that, one and two and three and four, Dun 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 to the melody. Now, as I say, the melody starts on the and of four, and here are the notes you want. Uh, the first bit goes like this. So this is an open B, an open E, and then three on the high E, two on the high E to open high E. All right, so. Okay, that's the first bit. Then now, that open string gives you bit of time to go up to the seventh fret. So seven on high, five on the high, back to two. So if I put that together. All right, that's the first bit. Here's a kind of the second bit, second bar. So this is very similar to the first bit, but you don't play the B string, it's high E. Three, two, open. All right, and then three. So uh, if I play um, from the from the top, all right, zero, three, two, three on the B, and then an open E, and an open B. All right. So the first bit again. Here's the last bit, which is slightly more tricky because we've got to go up to the dusty end of the neck. Starts off the same. So that's exactly the same as the first bit, all right? Open B, open E, three on the high E, two on the high E to open. Now while you've got that open E string ringing, you go up to the seventh fret. And you're going seven, 
10, 9, 8. I'm doing it with four fingers here, but you could do it with one if you wanted to. It's best to do it with four because it makes it easier to play, but if you find that really difficult, you can do that if you wanted to. All right. And then you're going to go to, down to the five and you're going to do a similar move. You go five, eight, seven, six. So let me play that in context. Let's have it five, eight, seven, six. You could do it. That's a bit of a quick bit. Take your time with that. Last three notes are easy. That's two, three, zero, kind of the opposite of what we did before. All right, so let me play you that last section. All right, there we are. So there are the chords, that's the uh, melody two. So what you want to try and do is, uh, just like I did at the beginning, try and record yourself playing the chords. Make sure you can hum it first. And once you can hum it, then see if you can play the melody. Better still, you can get another guitar player to play, to play the chords and you try the melody over the top, all right? So there we are, there's a Harry Potter theme. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, remember to subscribe, I shall see you in the next video.